Okay, here we are with the Youth Companion Magazine, April 22nd of 1909, 105 years ago. And we're going to read the story, A Lure for Strangers. It will be read to you by Jennifer. Next to an abandoned farm for loneliness is an abandoned road. Sometime, indeed, the road seems to take first place in a comparison. No one can wonder that a family living on a little traveled road should be glad to see callers at any time. In his book, An English Holiday with Car and Camera, Mr. J.J. Hissey tells of the welcome he had to an out-of-the-way farmhouse and how he called to be made. We came to a curious road house by the roadside. It was of the three stories and of some size as round houses are not common. It attracted our attention, and when we reached it, we were astonished to read on its circular front the following announcement in big, bold letters. Panorama Waterloo Victory, June 18th, A.D. 1815. But the more surprised us about the notice was the fact that the house stood in a lonely place apparently remote from anywhere, and so far as we could judge, it must have stood there always. It was a wayside enigma, for the, it, the panorama, was a public show. Where could the public be expected to come from to see it? To satisfy our curiosity, we pulled up at the door and applied to see the panorama. After some time, a woman came forth in response to our knock, and in a reply, to our request, said the panorama, as was here, has been done away with ages ago. It be a farmhouse now. Then why, we queried, do you keep that notice up? It seems a strange thing to do, surely, and it must give you a lot of trouble answering the door to people calling to see the panorama. Bless you, sir, she responded. We don't mind the trouble. It's a bit lonely like living here, and it's a relief to see a stranger to talk to at times, though there ain't any strangers as pass, passes this way. However, we do get one calling now and again. Oh, okay. Isn't that interesting? All right. Be sure to sub me, join me as a friend, and we'll bring you some more stories of 105 years ago. Bye-bye.